Michael. When Mike introduced himself, he said, what's left of me, what's left of you is the best of you, my friend. Excellent. I have a story to share, but it's not a personal story of mine. Yesterday at 5.30, I received a phone call, and it shook me. Someone had heard about this event, someone very special, and as much as they wanted to be here in person, uh, they were unable to because of a prior engagement. Uh, I will let the audio serve as his words. Uh, all I can say is this was a phone call I received by a very close friend of Les Paul, Mr. Billy Muir, and I'll ask Ken if you could roll the audio for us. My name is Billy Muir. I was born November 4th, 1915, and I've been in the business since I was about 12 years old. I was a studio guitar player in New York City for 40 years. I met Les Paul in the early 50s. I was playing guitar on staff at WNEW radio station, and he was at NBC. I would go over to his studio to hear him play, and he would come to my studio to hear me. At that time, I was working at home in my basement on a four-track TIAC recording machine, overdubbing, 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 and so on and so on. About this time, along came Les Paul with his 10-track machine, and for good measure, he threw in Mary Ford, and that was the end of my overdubbing venture. Of course, he had a huge hit in World is Waiting to Sunrise, and we lost touch for a while as he went on the road, and I stayed in New York uh, City. And I started recording my own albums for RCA Victor, MGM, and other companies. And I also played in such Broadway shows as Chicago, Hello Dolly, Damn Yankees, and Sugar Babies. I also played on the Arthur Godfrey radio show for seven years, and I also did two years of the Lucky Strike Hit Parade. And as a sound engineering, uh, engineering college, it might be interesting to you to know that just after Les's breakthrough, I received a call from RCA Victor records to do a series of albums called supersonic guitars there was no dubbing only live musicians i used four of the greatest guitar players in new york at the time uh, tony Matola, bucky pizzarelli al Keola, and al casamente anyway two years ago my fiance and i were in new york city and we decided to go to the iridium room where les paul was performing i left a note on his music stand stating billy muir is here <laughs> He came on stage, read the note, and shouted, Who the hell is Billy Muir? I didn't know how to react to this. In view of the fact that he had a great sense of humor, and sadly also had suffered a stroke recently, he then shouted, Billy Muir, come on up here. He asked, as I got on the stage, what do you do? And I say, I play guitar. Don't you remember me? I used to go by NBC to hear you play, and you used to come by WNEW to hear me play. Well, anyway, he said, grab that extra guitar and let's see what you can do. Then we proceeded to play two songs and we wowed the audience. It was just incredible. On our way out of the Iridium room that night, a waiter came chasing after us, shouting on top of his voice, Billy, Billy, Les Paul just remembered who you are. <laughs> so we went backstage, talked old times, took pictures and autographs, and then left. Last year, we went to New York City and, and decided to go to the Iridium again. This time, it was a little different. He spied me in the audience and asked me up on stage. Unfortunately, there was no extra guitar, guitar on stage this time, so we bantered back and forth, and I sang a couple of songs. It was great fun for me. I was very saddened to hear of Lester's passing. He was a genius. Bucky Pizzarelli, who is a very dear friend of mine and a very dear friend of, of uh, Les, called me to reminisce about Les the other day. Bucky had been taking Les's place at the Iridium for the last six weeks since Les's health had been deteriorating. The Iridium's new policy will be to feature different performers. It will take a lot of them to fill Les Paul's shoes. We all miss him, but he leaves his music for all of us and for me, fond personal memories. Thank you and good night. Would you join me in a standing ovation for Billy Muir? We're going to be sending him a copy of tonight's event, and I just want him to know how much we love him. Thank you, Billy.